you heard that right y'all my tanker journey starts at prime ink prime trucking so i had y'all waiting for a while but i'm back so let's get into it it's time to share a new journey with you guys. I've been waiting to just make sure everything was set. And I can finally say, yes, your girl is a tanker, yanker. And it starts at Prime Inc. So I just wanted to show y'all this is a Springfield, Missouri terminal. Y'all, listen, I was sleeping on Prime, okay? When I came here, this is like a university. There is so much here. And this isn't even where the dorm room is. I'll show you that in a minute where I rest my head like for a while for like probably almost a month I was at that freaking um campus in but I am so in love with this terminal because it really brings me back to my college days it's like it's a big 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 place so this is prime one prime inc main terminal in Springfield Missouri if you didn't know now you know what's up my youtube family my youtube famba my youtube family as us jamaican would say what's up y'all it's your girl tatiana aka just trucking it oh my god y'all <sighs> i'm back it's been a while i have to take a brief little hiatus um just to get everything together if you watch my last video you saw the disappointment that happened with oakley and even though i pulled forward and i got back on the the application bus and i did what i had to do and i got out there right away for orientation again i just had to like just take a step back work on my ish and just keep it moving but i'm back i waited until everything was locked in pretty much um just to make sure everything's good before i started making videos and every everything like that because regardless of me not breaking or you know being upset about being denied or let go um during training or wh whatever i still just wanted to make sure everything was good um i didn't want to make any more videos and and it says you know i'm with a third company or whatever even though y'all i got so much story to tell you guys so i'm gonna do my due diligence with my um videos going forward just uh just for everyone that really supports me on this challenge channel like everyone that told me just do what you gotta do get it done we'll still be here i just want to let y'all know i appreciate it so 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 much all the kind words poured out it helped me so much um like i always say i'm a motivator i can motivate anyone but when people motivate me it really touches me because i'm normally the one that's pouring into other people when it comes to encouragement so i really really appreciate when i get it back but enough of that because you know your girl loves to talk <laughs> and i have so much stories so i'm gonna make this video like i said not too drawn out so i'm gonna start from the beginning point of getting with prime and have you um leave your questions in the comments and then i'll skip to everything so i'll follow in steps until the day i got into the truck boy it's a lot going on <laughs> but nevertheless i am actually like waiting on my pickup my first pickup and so it's good y'all i'm locked in with prime now so remember when i told y'all it was just so quick with prime um i had a bunch of other companies um tanker companies like stevens indian river i don't remember if bynum but there was another company in um pa right so it was like three main companies but prime was just the 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 quickest of them all like let's say i left oakley on thursday um i applied to prime on friday and friday i was talking to my um my recruiter and by monday i was on my way driving the rental which you saw in the last video driving the rental to missouri from pa yes so let me not push ahead so i spoke with my recruiter we went over everything in one day it didn't take me long to get certain stuff together because i already had all my information from when i applied to oakley right so let me just tell you this in comparison to when i was at oakley y'all i ain't have to do that much i came into prime at 14 months so with 14 months i'm considered an a seat a is an apple so a seat b seat 
C-seats. So that basically separates the experience. A-seats just the longest amount of experience. And when you're an A-seater, you get certain perks, right? So as an A-seater, I didn't have to go through um, go on the road with a trainer. I could choose to, but I didn't have to. So when I spoke to my recruiter, it was basically an option of, uh, I think it was a two-day boot camp for pump pumping to learn in the pumping in terms of how prime um, wants us to handle it my room i was at the infamous campus in i'm gonna drop a video right here just so y'all can see my um my room so i'm dropping a video right here so here's my room y'all at the campus in again springfield missouri or it's missouri i don't remember what area this is but um this was my room so i was all by myself which was so 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 good for me but it's pretty much set up like a dorm room um how they have it a prime and i was in the a building which is pretty much one of the old buildings like if y'all come in here please try to get into the the c or d building because it's like newly renovated and everything is like more up to date this is like so old school but i was so happy to just be here by myself and i was here for three weeks and that's a long story but i'm gonna share it with y'all on another video can't wait to tell y'all this but i was here for three weeks by myself so a lot of privacy um i didn't have anybody to share with to like have to buy by their rules it was just all me which is perfect just how i like it but for the most part it was good for me old school but it was good for me at least i didn't have to share so yeah so i was then in the infos campus and i had a um regular um dorm so you know if you know about prime it's like dorm rooms it's legit a uh, university i was at the springfield uh, missouri terminal so it was legit a university i was so shocked y'all i've never really seen a trucking company like that even when i went to werner we just stayed in hotels but this was legit a university experience it took me back to when i first started college here in america it was like the first it was just like it was like a different experience like it was dope for me so i had my dorm room i was in the a building shout out to the a building at campus in and i had my own room so because i was an a seater ac ac doesn't have to share rooms and that's the best thing to me like I just love my privacy privacy if they don't have like me like by myself I'm pretty ready to just pay for a room for myself but it was set up right so I was in that room by myself and basically um sorry my video just got messed up sorry y'all hands all over your face <laughs> yeah um so I was in that room by myself so i did like i got a schedule of um when i got there i got a schedule oh, i'm jumping ahead let's, let's let's slow down let's slow down and that's what happens when you don't record daily so she already told me a seater they gave me an option right so i was supposed to start um training on a wednesday so they gave me an option of bus bro i'm not taking no bus from pa darby where i live to springfield missouri it was like 17 hours 16 hours and some so 17 hours let's just cap it off at that bus is 20 something hours who was gonna spend a whole day in a bus not me not tati not this girl not me never know where no oh man i do it right so i was like well if i get a rental is there any reimbursement and they told me she told me basically they'll reimburse me 165 dollars great that's all i needed to hear boom boom bam i hit up enterprise or whatever which i use a lot because i never got my car fixed you know that car that they stole in the high on day challenge <laughs> it's still there but now i gotta fix that shit Ugh, language yeah so um i rented a, a car and it was like 170 something dollars i had to pay a few but they still reimbursed me 160 something so that was that was very helpful so i got there around tuesday and my my orientation started wednesday when i got there got up wednesday for orientation it was in the campus in so they have like a section in the campus in where you can do your first day orientation and things like that um so they gave me like a printout it was legit like a college schedule where it breakdowns um breaks down what you have to do like per day so one I had to go into a main class with everybody else that was starting orientation around that time 
And the first thing that I realized when I signed up for that class, y'all, when I went to that class, y'all, there was only three company drivers. Every single body in that room was basically lease. And I'm just checking my time. Was lease drivers. And at that time, a light bulb came on and said, yo, lease, as far as I know, people don't, truck, truckers don't like lease. Truckers tell other truckers not to do lease. But then I realized it's lease purchase versus a lease rental. So you know the lease purchase stuff that happens in trucking. A lot of people tell you don't do it. It's a setup. However, this option at Prime is different, which is I never knew about. I always heard about it and thought it was just regular lease purchase. But this was like a lease rental. Like when you you lease a car, you know, at some point you have to give the, the car back or you decide to probably see if you can buy it out or whatever it is but you decide to just give the car back you might get it get a different car but you're paying like a monthly amount so i was the only one company from the tanker um division in, in com doing company drivers everybody else when when i went to pump training was lease rental but after that i realized most of them were converting or, or transferring from company drivers driving on um, reefer because they only do reefer reefer to tanker but again it's light bulb for me to look into how many people are doing lease at prime right so i started doing my research but i'm gonna leave that for another video so i did um the first class i did for hr getting my paperwork together all that stuff getting my schedule to see what i'll have to do found out about my e-logs which was a lot of e-logs i hate e-logs it was like 50 something e-logs y'all i ain't gonna lie 50 something e-logs for me to clear up by the time it come to um me getting my my um badge and all that stuff getting cleared the last day guess what i had to do a freaking simulator so i had to do a simulator i have not done a simulator class since werner january 2023 right so 2022 and 2023 2022 at, w at werner i had to do a simulator for the first time and when i tested out to get my truck for the dollar general account i had to do another simulator so when he told me simulator i was like what the hell and i had to do three different simulators right but that got cleared everything was was pretty much quick um we had like um I had to do a, a class in terms of learning the Qualcomm system. They use Qualcomm over here. I'm not used to Qualcomm, never had to do Qualcomm. Qualcomm is, I feel like Qualcomm is like so outdated, but that's what they use over here. And that's what was also at Oakley's. Um, so I had to learn the system. They also had a very nice class, a class that taught you about taxes and stuff like that. And that was mostly geared to the lease renters, but it was a good class for me to take. There's even a pro maintenance class. If you're doing lease, you can basically learn the basic stuff stuff to look into when it comes to your truck right because as a lease operator you're pretty much the owner op right you have to know how to take care of your truck so they had several classes that i um i went into but it, all in all it was pretty much a three to four day process and after that um i did my my pump training was within that as well and pump train was two days but i went to the pump yard a lot of times to practice with my classmate i met a, i met so many cool people but y'all know me i'm very friendly when it comes to engaging with people and speaking with people I'm speaking to y'all right now right so um they're all cool i still stay in contact with them but the main thing i'll say is because i came in with 14 months i didn't have to go out with a trainer but I did ask my recruiter, hey, if I choose to want to go out with a trainer, is that an option? She said, yes, that's an option. But I guess that would keep me waiting down for too long because it's so hard to get a trainer for the tanker division, which seems to be the same thing across the board, honestly, when it comes to the companies. So to have the tanker trainers, they wouldn't have enough. So I mentioned that to say, y'all, everything happens for a reason and something is just setting you up for your next experience so because i legit left from oakley's training and the last i went through everything remember the last day when they they told me they're not gonna follow through with me was my test out day to pass my pump off right so i got i went through everything the whole process right so i already got to drive the the tank felt the surge drove it a couple of days and all of that so i was more prepared than someone coming in with no experience never felt the surge but not going out with a trainer so that helped me so all i did 
pump off training and that was sufficient i was happy i, I learned um their pump off process but by that time i already was used to the terminologies and stuff like that coming from the previous training so everything pretty set me up and that's just how i look into it like what happened at Oakley just prepared me more when I came to Prime. Because when I came to Prime, I was no longer nervous about tank, driving the tank. I was no longer nervous about the pump off and stuff like that. And what I appreciate when I came to Prime is that it wasn't so much pressure. I wasn't hearing, oh, you're going to get fired for this. Oh, you're going to get fired for that. Oh, you're going to written dump, get written up for this. Oh, you're going to... I didn't hear a constant reminder that you're gonna get fired so I think that put me at ease when I was going through pump off and it just made everything everything just seem more seamless right what else about um yeah so I can mention this I'm gonna do everything in separate videos but I also got a chance to go to the um the the highway diamonds gala so I was at y'all I was at prime for training and everything for like three weeks plus three weeks let's say three weeks right three weeks i was at the campus and i was at a prime one terminal and i'm gonna put that in the rest of the other videos just to let you know it's been a bumpy ride i'm i'm very appreciative but it's been a bumpy ass ride y'all so stay tuned but i'm trying to think orientation wise is there anything else i need to mention so the first three days it was like what 98 dollars $98, which were the three, the first three days covered like pretty much orientation and stuff like that. And then after that, I think it's start right pay. I don't remember exactly how much start right pay is. Then while I was waiting on the truck, I got layover pay and things of that nature. Everything's pretty much different on the company side versus the lease operator side. So I can't speak too much on lease yet. Stay tuned to see what my decisions will be in the future. But is there any i'm trying to think what else um you guys might need to know but definitely leave me comments um with questions that's probably going to jog my memory if there's anything you want to learn about um orientation but for the most part that's really it um if you come in with experience you don't have to go through that whole process when you come in without experience and i don't mean tanker experience i mean experience for driving reefer all of that oh y'all oh my god <laughs> yo you know what i'm gonna make this my second video y'all i'm gonna tell you what my my company that i left what they tried to do to me when i try to get my verification my verification for prime i'm gonna tell you what y'all y'all not gonna believe this i don't know why verification is such a tricky thing when it comes to trucking why it's such a spiteful thing depending on who who deals with verification but y'all when i said i'm learning so many lessons out here i'm going towards year two i'm learning all the lessons and i welcome them because life's not easy life's not perfect right and i never thought trucking would be easy but next video i'll make that my next video but yeah um it's been a, a nice run it's been more casual more more laissez faire more kind of laid back with training and things like that for the most part what i will say is everyone at that terminal is very helpful um very respectful you know a lot of people will push to help you go out of their way to help you and that's such a good thing it makes me want to help more now i'm not i'm not gonna come on here and praise any company i'm gonna be honest about um what happened because i need people coming into trucking to understand that every trucking company has their share of drama has their share of issues when i drop the next video about the verification i still wish i could tell you what company i drove for but i'm gonna see if i can just yeah i can't mention the name i won't mention the name for safety reasons that's why they don't allow us to share certain information but that company is a worldwide company i'm telling you high value worldwide company right and i didn't i didn't expect them to do what they did when it came to my verification however i say all this to say none of these companies are perfect the most important thing to remember is your experience will not be the same as someone else's experience and that is just the truth all across the board whatever it comes if ever it's about money nobody is getting the same pay when it comes to trucking 
You feel me? Because at the end of the day, you got to remember, your money is controlled by your fleet manager, by dispatch, load boards, all those stuff you have to consider. So one person might be so good networking, talking to their fleet manager, building report, and you just want to go run and make your money. You ain't got time to make friends, but out here, you need friends. But I, I just say this because I'm going to be open with my challenges um, and I'm going to just show you. I'm going to show the good. I'm going to show the bad. I'm not going to bad mount any company on here because realistically, I'm now at my third trucking company and I'm 14 months, right? So I'm just starting with my third one right now. And I already told myself that whatever may be, I'm going to thug it out with Prime because I want my one year in tanker, right? And I've already gone through challenges here. <laughs> But I already told myself I'm going to thug it out because I'm not trying to be a job hopper all over the place. The next point of my experience in trucking from here on out, I should be moving to something more solid, more bigger, or something for myself, which is owner-op, right? So, I'm not going to dry it out. I'm at, what, 18 minutes? Um, I just wanted to let y'all know I'm, I officially started right now i'm in my truck i'm gonna show you guys the truck i'm gonna tell you the drama with the truck everything i just wanted to drop this video to let y'all know your girl is good i appreciate everyone for the encouragement i'm a new prime ink tanka driver tanka yanker officially like i legit pulled my tank from missouri to illinois today and i'm i'm waiting for my pickup which is 13 minutes away from here and i'm heading to lancaster new york and then i head to lancaster pa and i get to go home finally to get my stuff on the truck and just do my hair because oh my god i'd be bummy out here right now just get myself together but i'm gonna end the video right here and i'm gonna drop some clips in between for you guys um just to show you some stuff um on my new journey at prime inc tanker yanker tati the tanker tanker toddy should change my name to tanker toddy what y'all think tanker toddy instead of just trucking it toddy Hmm, I don't know. We'll see what the future holds, y'all. But I'm not going to hold you up anymore. Love you guys. Just trucking it, fam. I'm signing out and catch you on the next video. Bye, y'all. Like, share, support, subscribe. I'm on Instagram at just trucking it, Tati, across the board. Instagram, TikTok, here, just trucking it, Tati. You'll find me follow because i talk to people more on instagram it's easier for me to talk to them in a message answer your question and just pretty much develop a more closer relationship on there so if you want to hit me up on instagram feel free again signing out bye y'all catch you on the next video yeah.